Hello there and welcome back. In this video, we are going to take a look at PyInfra. So PyInfra is basically an infrastructure automation module from Python. And it's pretty mature, mature and uh, it allows you to automate uh, different tasks, tasks with the help of your Python scripts, so to speak. So let's create a folder, PyInfra. And after navigating, there we can create our virtual environment and after the virtual environment is created we can activate it and pip install pyinfra and uh, once we have installed the package uh, what i did was to start my fedora and centos machines and currently I have passwordless sudo access for the CentOS machine and the Fedora machine. And that's all there is to it. I have another video how you can set this up. But basically what uh, we can do after the installation is complete is to go ahead and use PyInfra to execute some commands. So basically what we can do is to use PyInfra and specify the server, for example, CentOS, and exec the echo, hello world. And this is how the execution looks like. So basically it is trying to connect to a host or a group of hosts and uh, execute the shell. And this is not all PyInfra can do. What we can also do is to create a file called infrastructure or rather inventory.py and specify the my hosts. And I could say that I have a CentOS host and a Fedora host. And in another script, let's open up the code text editor. What I can do is to basically say that uh, deploy.py and from pyinfra.operations, I would like to import the DNF and the server. And I could say the DNF that packages and the name is to ensure Vim is installed. And I could say the packages as a list of packages, but I'm going to say only the Vim needs to be installed and sudo is equals to true. Now what I can do is to say by infra that I have this inventory and I have the deploy.py and please go ahead and execute it. So currently we have connected to two hosts. One is the Fedora and the other is the CentOS and uh, <coughs> It can, could not install the one on the CentOS because there is some kind of network issue on my virtual machine, but basically you get the idea. So we have defined a list of packages that we would like to have installed and we used the inventory to install it. And uh, basically what we can do is to say that uh, we configure or fine-tune the inventory. So inside the inventory we could say that web servers is for example web1, web2 and web3 and we could say that we have db servers db1, db2 and db3 
and so on. So in an inventory file, you can define a list of hosts, which you can later reference. And uh, what I could also do when I execute this one is to say that I would like to limit the execution to my host. And that way it is going, only going to read up the my host list. And what we can also do is to basically specify uh, uh, specific host data when we are using our inventory. So for example, I have the application servers list and here I could create a one with the app one and inside the dictionary I could say that install postgres column true and inside the deploy script what I can tell it is to say if host data get install postgres then well, let's go write this post gray sql is going to be installed and I could define the following so I could say the DNF packages packages postgres server and that way this is going to be installed so for this to work what I have to do is to import the host from PyInfra and I don't have the print line I just simply have this so now let's create this one so Santo and let's rerun it so limit up servers and as you can see now we have only the CentOS was selected based on the inventory and it tried to install that one great so for an introduction video that was all I wanted to show you in this video See you in the next one.